The Data Video KMU200 is an all-in-one switcher, recorder, live streaming encoder that allows you to create the appearance of a multicam production by cropping in from a single 4K camera signal feeding into it. So from houses of worship to live music events, this system actually gives you tons of production value without the complexities or added costs of physically having multiple cameras in your setup. And considering most live streams are HD or below anyway, the result of cropping into that 4K signal shouldn't impact on the video quality that your audience perceives when watching it live. Now it's all based around this large 14 inch touchscreen. I'm feeding a HDMI 4K signal into it and in this example we're just using a media player but this of course in the real world would be a PTZ or block camera mirrorless DSLR style camera. Now we have these four boxes on the screen that have the four different shots that we can create from this one 4K signal and I can make these live by using the physical switcher buttons on the bottom right hand corner. When we switch we can see which frame is live on the touchscreen as it changes colour but to see the main program output, as your audience will see it, you'll need to connect a monitor to the HDMI output, which is what we're using this small HD monitor for. Now, if I wanna reposition any of these shots, I just set it to preview so it's highlighted green, and then I can move the frame around by touch or by using the built-in joystick, and you can see the size of it can be adjusted too. You can adjust the framing of the shot live by using the joystick and zoom rocker, so you can actually add some smooth movement into your shots. You can even run your production in portrait, so 9x16 instead of 16x9, for optimized live streaming to mobile devices. Now we can have up to four of these cropped in shots along with the 4K signal full screen and an additional HDMI input that can be used to run in graphics or a presentation or even video content from the lights of a laptop. So it's actually a six channel switcher. Now, if you don't wanna have all of your shots predefined for you to then cut to, by swiping with three fingers, we can actually enter a mode where you can simply just tap anywhere on the screen and it will automatically hot cut to that shot. Now for audio, the KMU200 supports four audio channels and we can input the audio through a mixture of XLR, quarter inch jack, RCA, and of course the embedded audio coming in from the HDMI source. We can then dial that mix in by using the physical controls on the top left of the unit. And we have our headphone connection, our audio levels, and our master level output too to control. So now that we have our shots ready and our audio levels set, we can look to stream or record the output, or both. To record, we simply insert an SD card and select between low, medium, or high bit rates and hit record. Now, if we wanna have more control, then we'll need to access the GUI from a web browser from any connected device that's on the same network as the KMU200. Now from this browser, it's very straightforward to get everything configured. The main thing I wanna highlight is the bit rates available for recording and streaming. So for recording, it's a maximum bit rate of 16 megabits per second, and for streaming, it's a maximum of eight megabits per second. And this is both for 1080p and in H.264. However, if you are streaming and recording at the same time, then those limits do reduce slightly. It's 10 megabits per second max for the record and four megabits per second max for the live stream. Now in terms of live streaming, it does support a decent number of protocols. You've got the ability of streaming in either RTSP, RTMP, TS, HLS, and even SRT for super low latency. There's actually two streaming encoders built into the KMU200, so you can actually stream to two different platforms at the same time directly from the unit itself without having to go to a third party solution such as Restream or Teradek Core Cloud. Now for basic settings, there is a menu system that we can access on the touchscreen itself by swiping with two fingers. It is rather limited, but this is where you can set your output resolution, what's being sent to the AUX HDMI out, and some audio config in general. So I hope you found this overview of the KMU200 useful. If you have any questions about it, or perhaps around what cameras and other supporting kit would match quite well with it, then do just put them in the comments below and we will get back to you. If you wanna find some extra information about it, you can always visit the Holden website too. Thank you very much for watching.